Presenting the transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. Now, Superman. When we last saw him, Superman, in his character of Clark Kent, was at the suburban hideaway of Dr. George Haven Beecham, world-famous explorer, with Dr. Beecham and his daughter Elsie. A crashing explosion had brought them racing upstairs to find a section of the house blown in. And missing from the safe was the mysterious sacred carving, the Emerald of the Incas, which the explorer had brought back from his latest expedition to South America. And rising in the moonlight above the trees beyond the house was the fantastic form of an autogyro. As our story continues today, several minutes have passed. Kent is about to leap from the window and follow the vanishing plane when a sudden cry from Elsie makes him turn. Oh, oh. What's the matter, Elsie? What is it? Oh, it's just my, my ankle. I, I think I turned it. Oh, here. Take my arm, Miss Beecham. Or l- let me carry you back downstairs. I'm all right. Really, I am. Elsie, are you sure? I am, truly. My ankle's not even sprained. Well, doctor, look. If Miss Beecham's really all right... I think it might be better if I tried to get one of the cars outside and follow that autogyro. Dad, he's right. Yes, he's, I don't know. I, I can't think. But doctor, they've got the emerald. If there's a chance of getting it back... How can you do it, Mr. Kent? You don't know which way they've gone. What do you think, Doctor? Which way would they go? It's hard to tell. They might be heading for water. We're almost on the sound. They may have a boat lying offshore. Good. I'll bet that's it. I'll take a car and follow them. Well, man, you can't possibly. They'll leave you behind in no time. No, they won't. An autogyro isn't fast. I may be able to catch them right away. I'm going after that plane. Why, Mr. Kent. Kent, what are you doing? You can't climb out that window. Oh, yes, I can. Why, Mr. Kent, you'll break your neck. No, I won't. So long. If I catch them, I'll find a telephone somewhere and let you know. <sighs> now then, one little jump and I'm done. They'll think I've climbed down the trellis. <sighs> now, off into the trees where the cars are, so they can't see me go up in case they're looking. Ah, this ought to do it. <laughs> no sense using a car to catch a plane. If that auto gyro's heading out to sea, I'll soon find it. Up, up, and away! Red cape streaming in the wind, blue costume flashing in the moonlight, Superman leaps into the air, hovers a moment, and takes off in a series of widening circles to find the auto gyro, in which the priests of the tribe of Azatlan are making off with the Emerald of the Incas. Suddenly he sees the flash of a silver wing over the waters of the sound. Levels out in a straight line, while in the auto gyro itself, the brown men talk together. Where is the emerald? Safely hidden. Did you arrange matters back at the house? I did. By this time, the palace of the white doctor should blaze like a hundred fires. Good. What do you look at? We are over water. How far do we go this way? Some miles. Look, back there behind us, in the moonlight. I see nothing. Wait. It went into the shadow of a cloud. Now, what is it? A man. The figure of a man flying in the air. No, no, it, it cannot be. Even the magic of the Azatlan. I tell you, it is. Look, it comes closer. He is over our heads. I saw him. Look. Look, he's coming through. Through the door. Sorry, gentlemen. Forgive my breaking in like this. Where's the emerald of the Incas? No speak. No speak, Yankee. Well, you'll speak at this time. Where's that emerald? Quick. White man, what you seek was stolen. It is ours. Now, look here. I'm not going to argue about that now. I want that stone. Where is it? We have taken it back. You will never find it. Oh, think not. Well, I may not find it, but you will. And you'll find it right now and hand it over. No. I say yes. Where is it? Find it. Use your magic against the magic of Azatlan. I will. You've seen a little of magic already. Just a very little. I call it the magic of Krypton. Now you're going to see a lot more. Come here. Now you let me go. I said come here, both of you. Yes, you too. I kill you, white man. Ah, You've already tried. Now listen. I'll give you one more chance. Then I'll knock your heads together. Where is that emerald? Look. Look behind you, white man. <laughs> Old stuff. And even if I did, what could you do? No, no. He means fire. Fire back on shore. What of it? Magic of the Azatlan, white man. That fire is in the house where the emerald was. What? Stone house? The house of the white doctor who stole the sacred goddess in flames. Look. You mean that fire is back at Dr. Beecham's? Look how it leaps up. 
fingers of flame. Look, it shows for miles. The house of evil is gone. We'll see about that. And if it is, you've signed your own death warrant. Where are we? Ah, over water. Good. Let go! Let go! You win for the moment, but not for long. This auto gyro will float down there on the water. And that's what it's going to do. Scott, what you do? Just what I said. I'm going to wreck this plane. Send it down to float on the sound. So you'll be sure and be there when I get back. Now I'm going to smash that front propeller. There. Now, down with it. Don't want it to land too hard. Down. Down. Ah, oh, there's a boat down there. Well, I can't help that. They can't do much. Now. 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 And into the water. There. That'll keep them quiet for a while. Now back to that pirate stone house. Up. Up. Uh, I've got to hurry. If they've caught Elsie and the doctor, I'll take care of them when I get back. Higher and faster. Faster. Back at Stonehouse, red flames lick hungrily at beams and walls, roar up into the night sky. Elsie and Dr. Beecham, having escaped in the nick of time from the blazing furnace, stand on the lawn, stunned and unbelieving. Then suddenly, Elsie remembers. Oh, Dad! Dad! Elsie, what is it? You're not hurt. Dad, I just remembered. Down in the cellar, that taxi driver. Oh, good heavens. Oh, Dad, he never knew. He must have been trapped by the explosion. Then when the fire came... Oh, Dad, he's down there now. He can't get out. Oh, the poor man. What can we do, Dad? Elsie, come back. We can't do a thing. Not till someone sees the blaze and calls the fire department. Dad, we must. We've got to get him out. Elsie, come back here. Come back. Come back, Miss Beecham. Where are you going? Why, Kent, where did you come from? Oh, Mr. Kent, quick, quickly. Why, Miss Beecham, what's wrong? That, that taxi driver, Eddie Hilly, he's yes? still in the cellar. What? Oh, great Scott, I... I forgot all about him. Mr. Kent, do something. Get him out. Now, look. Stay here, both of you. I may be able to get in from the other side. Oh, Kent, be careful. Let me help. No, no, no. I... You stay where you are, Doctor. Look after Elsie. Now then. Seems to me there's a lot of work for Superman tonight. Oh, poor Hilly. That fire's got down to where he was. Well, here goes. He has him. He's got him. Kent, Kent, this way. Back out of the smoke. Oh, Mr. Kent. Oh, the poor man. Miss Beecham, look after him, will you? Uh, I'm about all in. Just put him down on the grass, Mr. Kent. All right. I'll look after him. Oh. He's coming around right now, I think. Why, Kent, man alive, how did you do it? Oh, doctor, I, I don't know. It was, it was just luck, I guess. There was an air shaft, and, well, the, the wall fell down, and there he was at the bottom. So all I had to do was... Pick him up and get him out. Oh, well, I, I've got to be on my way again now. What? Well, where are you going? Well, don't you remember? I was after that auto gyro. I saw the flames and I came back. Well, Kent, you'll never catch it now. Well, it won't hurt to try. You never can tell, Doctor. Anyway, I'm off. Kent, wait. Come back a minute. Kent. Oh, Dad. Dad, why? Dad, what are you doing on your hands and knees? Elsie, do you see this? I found it in the grass. Look. Well, what is it? Ugly thing. Well, looks like a cheap earring. Elsie, that's a badge of office. It's an amulet. And it's worn only by the highest priests of the Azadran. But, Dad, what of it? You don't understand. It's given them when they become priests. Magic power and all that. And it becomes a part of their very lives. But I... Why all the fuss? Well, don't you see, Elsie? One of those priests dropped it by accident. And the loss of this amulet is worse than death. A terrible crime. What? Oh, you mean that... I mean, I believe that with this amulet, I could induce them to let me borrow the emerald of the Incas. But I don't know where they are. No, but I do, Dad. At least I, I know where they were going. Elsie. The taxi driver, he's come to and he told me they have a plane waiting. A great big seaplane at the central airport. Where's the car? Quick, Dad. Quick. A mad race against time. Can Dr. Beecham and Elsie make the airport before the priests of Azatlan take off in their high-speed seaplane? And what of Superman out over the waters of the Sound? What will he find when he reaches the spot where the autogyro hit the sea? 
thrills, high excitement, unbelievable climax. Tune in next time and follow the story of Superman. And remember, be sure to tune in the next thrilling installment of the amazing transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Superman is a copyrighted...